When I look around my collection room, there's a few boxes in here that I think, huh, that box has been sitting here for three years. I should probably open it. This is going to be most likely my biggest Japan haul yet. I have never unboxed a box that is this big. It's a huge box. It's extremely heavy and it's full of Sailor Moon merchandise from the past three years. So I am very excited to get into this. Let's go ahead and break into this box and see what I ordered because I have no clue. If you are ever interested in finding out what kind of Sailor Moon items are available at all the different merchandise stores around the world, even internationally, definitely subscribe because I love doing unboxings, hauls, reviews, fashion try-ons, and also tutorials and how-tos to show you how to purchase these items yourself. So with this box, because it's so big, I'm just going to work my way from the top of the box all the way down to the bottom. So I don't know what's in here. Let's go ahead and get started with this, which is brand new. This was available through the Premium Bandai website. That website does have an international version, but most of the items on that site are only available in Japan. Can, at least all of the more premium items are. So this is a very cute set of a necklace which features all the moon compacts and brooches. And then we also have a matching clip. This is a hair clip. It is made out of metal. It's got a little tag, a little hang tag here that says Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Cosmos. Oh, Cosmos. So it's based on the new movie that has come out in June. This is nice and metal. It's pretty heavy, so it feels like it's pretty decent quality. This is a pretty thick chain for a necklace, so definitely one of those like borderline costume jewelry, but definitely very blingy. Very pretty. Here I have a Foco Bukuro. It's a Sailor Moon store lucky bag. These usually release around January 1st on New Year's. Uh, this is a very, very big tradition in Japan to go shopping on January 1st and get all the lucky bags. A lot of lucky bags are now available for pre-order, uh, especially places like the Pokemon Center. So I'm not sure what's in here. I probably already have most of the items in here. And if that's the case, I usually sell any kind of duplicates that I get or I do giveaways. So the tote bag is super cute. I really like it. There's a big La Fori sticker on the back of it. This is the mall where the Sailor Moon store is located. It's actually a pretty nice mall. I like walking around in there. There's a ton of very cute stores. Let's see what we have. Oh, I do have this. This is a scarf. Uh, the one that I have is in a navy blue color. So this is the gray version. It's very cute. Uh, this is a phone case that I most definitely cannot use. This is for the iPhone 6, 6S, 7, and 8. So I will be getting rid of that. I don't have any use for this. Oh, that's cute. Here we have a Mercury and Mars a cutlery rest. So you could use this to rest your chopsticks on. Uh, that's actually useful. See, this is something that I like that I would definitely like to keep. Also in this bag is this metal key holder. This features the Crystal Star Compact. And we have this very cute little Luna uh, LC card holder. So you can strap your LC card on there and then it has a little drawstring that comes out. That's really cute. I like those. So that's pretty much everything. Although I do have this coupon as well, which I'm, I think it's expired by now. <laughs> Where did this hoodie come from? I don't remember. Who made this? Let's see. Samantha Vega. Oh, this is a pricey hoodie. Samantha Vega hoodie. It has Luna ears up at the top. This almost feels like terry cloth. That's interesting. I've got some Luna ears up here at the top on this hoodie. It is a full zipper hoodie, which that's nice. I like full zips. Okay, it fits. The hood's really big. <laughs> but it's cute. I like it. It's got drawstrings. That's nice. Full zipper. Does it have pockets? Oh, there's pockets. I love pockets as well. That's so useful. Okay, this is cute. I'm sure I will wear that eventually. Not right now though, because it is so hot. There's probably more in this box from the Hello Kitty collaboration, but these are from a collaboration that came out in 2022, 2023, around that season. So we have a very cute little Hello Kitty in a Sailor Moon costume. She's in a super Sailor Moon costume. I really like her skirt and she's so soft. Very, very cute. I have a few Hello Kitties in my household. Not a large collection, but this one I 
I had to have it. I mean, it's Hello Kitty as Sailor Moon. It's so cute. Uh, this one was also a must have from the Sailor Moon Hello Kitty collaboration. This one's very, very cute. I do sometimes collect cute little plushies of Sailor Moon if they are this adorable. And this one's definitely a, an adorable one. Look, she even has a cute little Hello Kitty bow. Oh, okay. She's adorable. I like it. I also picked up this cute little, I think this is like a little display case. Oh, come on. This is just adorable. That's gonna look really cute on one of my shelves. So up at the top, we have some little notches that you can put jewelry in. There's also a whole bunch of holes along this front piece right here for you to hang like earrings from. This entire acrylic stand is very glittery, super cute. And then of course it features Princess Serenity and Hello Kitty dressed as Princess Serenity at the front. The bottom piece is a drawer. Put cute little knickknacks inside of there. Oh, that's nice. It has a hole at the back too, so that air doesn't get stuck back there uh, because this is a full drawer. There's no opening at the back. That was a thoughtful little thing to think of. Here at the front, we have this cute little gemstone for the drawer pool. This is a very, very cute display case. I'm certainly going to use that. This is Anna Sui. So Anna Sui also does collaborations with Sailor Moon. This time we have a hat. I don't collect a lot of Anna Sui items because generally they don't really fit with my vibe or my aesthetic in terms of jewelry or anything like that, but I like this hat. This is a very, very cute hat. It's made out of cloth. It almost feels like cotton and I believe it is adjustable. Yes, it is. It's adjustable on the back, so easy to wear, comfortable to wear too. This is so cute. I have some random things in here. What is this? All right, moving on, we have this very beautiful Aurora mug. That word is so hard for me to say, I don't even know why. But we have this cute silhouette of Sailor Moon on the front with a crescent moon, and the crescent moon has a little rose inside of it. It's kind of hard to see, but hopefully you can see it. Uh, this is very pretty. I would totally use this for like, a nice little glass of wine or something. I have another planner. I recently opened up a different planner that was from 2023. So my guess is this one might be from 2022. Yeah, I think so. Oh no, this is from 2021. So yeah, I told y'all that I had this giant box of stuff next to me for like three years. Yeah, so we have a 2021 planner. However, I do collect these. I really like the binders that they come in. They're very, very nice. They're all very high quality. So I collect them every year and I don't really use the paper that is embedded inside of them, but I do like the art prints that are on these. So I tend to keep them in my collection. For example, this one has a lot of these newer art pieces from Naoko Takeuchi. These are so pretty. Some of these were found in a 2023 desktop calendar. So some of those are from different art books or what have you. This is cute. I like it. This also came with this miniature, it's almost like a miniature pencil board, but it looks like you can use this to bookmark your pages and have that little tab popping out. That's cool. Very pretty. I got a mouse pad because you can never have too many mouse pads. I dirty these things up so quick. I always spill coffee on them or whatever. So I always like to have some backup mouse pads and I like these big ones that can fit both your keyboard and your mouse on them. I did not go too hardcore on Samantha Vega purse releases over the past couple of years. However, I did pick up a few that I just liked out of the whole collection. So I kind of stuck to like one or two and I didn't really go ham. This is one of the ones that I picked up. This is a really cute little mini handbag. This one does feature a design that's based off of Sailor Moon's Fuku. This does give off very, very cute Fuku vibes. So the Sailor Moon costume. The inside of the bag is pretty simplistic. There is a pink lining. It does say Samantha Vega on the inside. And then there is a zipper pocket at the back. And here is the shoulder strap. The shoulder strap is simple and white. Most of the Samantha Vega bags are made out of PU leather or faux leather. Uh, and I believe this one is just the same. How much did you cost? This was 19,580 yen. 
So 19580 yen. With today's exchange rate, it's probably around 150 bucks or so. It's not bad for a Samantha Vega purse. Not bad at all. Uh, I believe the year before that one came out, I picked up this one, which is a larger purse. But again, this one is also Samantha Vega. This one is more of a cream color as compared to the last one, which was more white. Uh, very, very pretty. It's got a darker pink uh, wrist strap around here. And then we also have Sailor Moon's compact at the front right there. Uh, the back is pretty simplistic, so nothing super exciting. I love the shoulder strap that comes with this purse. It's mostly white except for the piece right at the end where you connect it to the purse. These are the exact same colors as Sailor Moon's skirt. So this is totally based off of her super Sailor Moon costume. And I love that. I love that it's those exact same colors. This is one of those purses that does not scream Sailor Moon, but if you are a fan, you would recognize the color combo immediately. I have no idea what's in this box. Let's see, it's a Sailor Moon Eternal. Oh yeah, I think I used a proxy for this. That is so pretty. That's really beautiful. So this is not as big as like the Q-Pot jewelry that you'll see me buy quite often, but this necklace, it's very dainty. Even the necklace, uh, the string, it's very, very dainty. This is a very beautiful little piece of jewelry. I will definitely be wearing that. I love that it has different colored gemstones going down the Kaleida Moonscope, and it has plenty of detail going into it. That is gorgeous, and I love the box that it came in. It's very full of pride. And this is probably a, yeah, oh, that's cute. This is a matching uh, little wrist bag or a little wallet. I love the ombre color scheme here. Definitely matches Sailor Moon's Fuku. This is a very simple little wallet. Room for your ID, main credit cards, maybe a little bit of cash. No zipper for coins, so you would have to carry something separate. But I love that this matches the purse. That's very pretty. If you are ever curious about how much any of these items cost or where you can purchase them from, if anything is in stock, I always put those links down below along with purchase information. I believe this is the last Samantha Vega item that I have. Uh, this is from a separate Samantha Vega line called Samantha Thavasa Petite Choice. And here we have, looks like a wallet. It's a wallet. Cool. Oh, this is so pretty. I love these wallets. I do use my wallets. I use all of them. I really like the Kaleida Moonscope up here. We have a bunch of little tuxedo mask icons and items there. Nothing on the back. And again, this is a very cream color. It's not necessarily full white. Some gray stripes on the interior and lots and lots of room for all the things. Sailor Moon and Ice watches. Uh, these watches are not as fancy as some of the other watches that I've collected, like the uh, Wicca watches. Those are very nice looking like metal watches. These ones have more of a like sporty vibe to them. Now I got this one through Proxy. They were able to pick up this shopping bag that was only available in store. I like the glitter in this bag and I like that ombre logo at the front. So I did want this for my collection. That was like a little bonus item. And I do already have a couple of the ice watches already. So this year I only got one because it has a black strap. So this is the Sailor Saturn ice watch. I think it's dead right now. I'll have to replace the batteries. Oh, never mind. It's going. That's exciting. So this ice watch has this ombre glitter front to it on the display. It goes from purple to like a light pink color. And we also have Hotaru or Sailor Saturn's planetary symbol up at the top. I do like the display box for this. So if I wasn't intending to wear this and I just bought it for display, I would just leave it in the box because that looks really nice. Why did I get these? What is in here? I don't even know. We have a bunch of black and white manga serialized into this magazine. I think this one came with bookmarks. So they're in the box somewhere. Oh, this one has an advertisement on it too. Cool. This box got pretty banged up, but hopefully my figure is okay. Oh good. She has that plastic lining, so I'm sure she's fine. So Tamashi Nations has a Tokyo store and they sold this limited edition version of a Princess Serenity figure. Now I do have the original version of this Princess Serenity figure as well. She's up in my collection, but this one has a few differences with her. First off, we have that almost transparent hair, which you sometimes see on figures, 
but not too often. She also has some transparency to her skirts, so those look a little bit different. And she is a slightly darker hue, like her hair is a little bit darker, and it even looks like her dress is more of a creamy color. The other big difference with this is the stand. So the stand comes with this pink gradient colored moon as opposed to a yellow moon. So those are the biggest differences with this lovely looking Princess Serenity. She does come with a little stand and she's supposed to sit there with her toe in the water. So she creates that ripple with her toe. Uh, she's not quite sitting on there correctly. So I will have to mess around with her before I put her up on my display, but I am happy to own this very cute figure and I'm glad that she shipped okay. This is a pair of clear files that came from a collaboration with a floral company. Very, very pretty. And since I couldn't necessarily get florals shipped here to America from Japan, I got all the merch items instead since I can put those in my collection room forever and they won't die. Okay, here I have a pile of what looks like stationery and clear files. This is a set of clear files from, I wanna say the Sailor Moon store, and this features all of the Sailor Guardians. Uh, inside there in the middle, we have Uranus and Neptune as well. Oh, this is a Sailor Moon store clear file for sure. In fact, I might already have this one, so I'll have to check. This one was from a birthday. Usagi and Chibiusa share a birthday. This beautiful set of clear files features Luna, for the back clear file. And there's a couple in here from the Kaguya musical. Lots of clear files. The Guardian Sailor Moon clear file. This was art that was released at the Sailor Moon store. And, ooh, that's pretty. This is from a planetarium. Yes, Konika Minota Planetarium. We also have, wow. This is a clear file from the Sailor Moon store. And this one was given out for free when they hit 100,000 guests. That's crazy. That's a lot of people. Here's a 2021 calendar from the Pretty Guardian Eternal movies. And this features each of the Sailor Guardians. It looks like it's a little desktop calendar. Oh, those comic books came with little bonus items like I had previously mentioned. This one is one of those bonus items. And I also snagged this really cool magazine that has an advertisement about Sailor Moon in here somewhere. Let's see if we can find it. Here we go. Okay, so we have a sticker sheet right here. That's cool. This is about the movies that came out, the Eternal movies. And then we have, oh, okay. All right. Some more information about Sailor Moon Eternal. I don't know what's going on there. And I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it for this magazine, but I'm glad I have those stickers. Okay, here we have a few items that were limited to Japan, including this Crystal Power Nail Shiner. This is by Tescom. That's the same company that has done a lot of like beauty electronic items in collaboration with Sailor Moon. No idea how to use this. That's gonna be fun. I will definitely test this out. Maybe do a test and post it on Instagram. Oh, I see. So it has this little lid on it and you can go from high to low to off. I'm guessing batteries go in the bottom. Yeah, okay, so there's no battery in there, so I'll have to add a battery myself. It comes with its own little pouch. So it comes with a bunch of different little accessories, and you can use these to like buff your nail and then shine your nails. Uh, this looks like one of those things that you can push back cuticles with. I have no idea, by the way, I'm just guessing. Oh yeah, here we have a nice buffer that you can use on your nail. I'm not gonna use that right now because obviously my nails <laughs> are covered in polish. And then this, these are nail files and it feels like they're similar grains. That's cool. I have never used an electronic nail shiner before. That will be a fun little piece of tech to experiment with. Oh, I'm so happy to be finally opening these. This thing is very hard to open. There's a lot of, there's a lot of plastic covering it. I have three of these very cute little miniature figures to open. It takes a while to open them, so I'll be right back. Okay, I've got them unboxed and put together and assembled. These are called the Twinkle Statues. Now, I already have the entire series of these Twinkle Statues except for these last three, so I'm happy to finally own them. They do come in these cute little gachapon balls, and you actually use a portion of 
the little capsule to put them on a stand. So that stand is a part of the capsule. So if you do end up getting any of these, make sure not to throw away the capsules because you will need to use one of those pieces to stand them up on display. So here we have Chibi Moon. Here's Sailor Moon and I'll have to fix her hair. It's kind of, it's kind of set in a little bit too far. It's supposed to be sticking out a little bit like that. She's cute. And Helios. I don't have any figures of Helios. That's really cool. I love it. He's so cute. I love that I just randomly have this little display over here, this Hello Kitty display. I'm like just setting things on it. <laughs> Almost everything in this bag was available at the Sailor Moon store at one point in time or another over the past few years. Not everything though. There's a few items in here that were from other collaborations. They're just really small. Here we have a mug that features Usagi and Chibiusa. This is from the Sailor Moon birthday party one year. They always come out with new merch every birthday, which is on June 30th. So this is from Samantha Tiara, which is the line of jewelry from the same brand that makes those purses I showed you, the Samantha Vega and Samantha Thavasa wallet. This is based off of Sailor Moon's transformation ribbons. You can see the ribbons coming out from the little brooch in the center. There's also a whole bunch of really teeny tiny little gemstones, little crystals, and there's a little pink crystal in the middle. And this is a rose gold color. It's absolutely precious and so pretty. And the display box for this is really beautiful too. I snagged a bunch of random little trinkety items from a series of different collaborations. Uh, for example, I have a whole bunch of these cute little acrylics that are from, I wanna say these were blind bags from a collaboration, but here we have a few of them. Here's Rei, Hotaru, Usagi, and Makoto. They're very cute. I really like the pastel colors and the cute little dresses. There's Amy. I probably have more of those, but who knows? I have a few of these really cute little keychains. This one features the Cosmic Heart Compact. Oh, and it's another Hello Kitty item. Here we have a keychain that features Sailor Moon and Hello Kitty. I love that big acrylic sparkly heart. That's so adorable. This is a really beautiful, um, almost an iridescent acrylic stand of Usagi. She's wearing this beautiful dress. I love this stand. Kind of wish I had gotten the rest of the line, but they were kind of pricey. So I only got this one. Here we have a random, <laughs> random Haruka uh, keychain. This is from a previous cafe. Lots of random items in here. A cute little keychain of Setsuna and Hotaru, Pluto and Saturn. And from that same line, we have Sailor Moon and Chibi Moon. I need to look this up. I do not remember what that says down at the bottom, but this is some kind of like warning sticker. <laughs> Maybe I should put this on my door to my collection room to warn people before they come in here. Warning, lots of Sailor Moon items. In case you were wondering what's in this room, it's just all Sailor Moon. I have a bunch of stickers. These are all from the same line. They were blind bagged, but I was able to get, I believe most of this collection, if not all of it. I have a few, it looks like I have a few duplicates. Yeah, Sailor Moon Cafe, cute. I love all of them. That's pretty. I like this one a lot. I didn't realize that I have like this whole line of cupies. Oh my gosh, there's so many cupies. They're so cute. Sailor Moon cupies. This is the cupie collaboration. These do come out at the Sailor Moon store. Here we have Sailor V, Sailor Moon, and <laughs> Usagi and a cute little Sailor Moon store logo. These ones were limited edition to the Sailor Moon store, these three cupies. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. We have Luna and Black Lady. And I have, oh, look at the prototype Sailor Moon. She's so cute. And then we have Princess Serenity and Prince Endymion and Tuxedo Mask and a prototype Sailor Moon. I didn't even realize that I had all those cuties. That's so fun. This is a very heavy, really nice high quality bell from Sailor Moon Eternal. This does have the drawstring so you can put your badge at the bottom of it. Use it when you're going to the train station, for example, with your Suica card or your Pasmo if you're in Tokyo. There's some cute little crystals on this bell up here at the top on the handle. It doesn't ring or anything like that, but it is very cute and something that you could actually use. Would y'all like to see a giant pile of otetamas? Because my pile of otetamas next to me is very large. I promise this whole bag is not otetamas or sume sumes or sum sums, however you want to say it. All right, technically these are not otetamas, but they are very cute little magnetic kitty cats. We have Luna, Diana, and Artemis, and their hands are magnetic, so you can hang them on cables or you can put them on your fridge or wherever you want to use them. They're pretty strong magnets too. Pretty tough magnets. 
So cute. These are very adorable. Oh goodness. Oh no, Luna, come back. Luna's trying to run away from me. Otadamas are very popular for Disney lines, but now we have a whole lot of these for Sailor Moon collectors like these ones that I have up here in my collection room. And I have more over there. I have a lot. Little Princess Small Lady Serenity and Helios. I have a bunch of Christmas ones. Where are they? Uh, I know I have duplicates of these because I bought some while I was in Japan in December. Uh, here's a whole bunch of Christmas Otedamas of the inner Sailor Guardians. Plus we have Chibi Moon right here and Luna down at the bottom. I have the inner Scouts, the inner Guardians right here, Venus, Jupiter, Mars, and Mercury. This one's very cute and very limited. Uh, this is a Sailor Moon store version where she's wearing the Sailor Moon store uniform. Very adorable. The Amazon trio, of course. And I also have Amazonus Quartet. So yeah, that's a lot of Otedamas. I don't know where I'm gonna put all of these. I'm gonna need to rearrange all of this so that I can display all these new Otedamas. so much stuff. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I let it pile up for so long. Moving on, some more Sailor Moon store items. I did clear off my desk because I was running out of room. We have this very cute t-shirt of the inner Sailor Guardians. This is adorable. We'll definitely wear that on a future video. Here we have some licensed Sailor Moon makeup brushes. Now we have seen unlicensed Sailor Moon makeup brushes, which looked almost exactly like these, but it's nice to have some licensed ones now. I did buy two of these so that I could use one and keep one on display. This is a very pretty coaster and this is a nice coaster. One of those like dolomite coasters, I believe. So it will soak up water and it has the cork on the bottom to keep it from slipping. Very nice, very pretty. I also wanted to grab both of these, which are simply notebooks. They're just little miniature notebooks, but really great for keeping notes. This is such a pretty pencil case. I really like this satiny, shiny pencil case. I love the gradient color and I love all the different icons and items that are associated with it. Just super pretty. I feel like I'll use this. A 2021 Emma board. The Sailor Moon store and the Sailor Moon brand come out with new Emma boards every year around New Year's, so I really like collecting these. I have a bunch of them now. These two can badges or pins are so cute and holographic and shiny. They totally remind me of 1990s vintage holographic cards. This is a series of very cute acrylic stands way back from 2020. Hotaru and Setsuna, Sailor Moon and Chibi Moon, Uranus and Neptune. And then we have this really cute Happy New Year's one of Usagi. Aww, she's so pretty. Pretty. These are magnets. These were blind bags from the Sailor Moon store and I got an assortment of different magnets. I really like these. Very pretty. I love this keychain. It does look like stained glass. It's not really stained glass. It's acrylic, but it has this really beautiful, almost a metallic -y or a foil background behind this image of Princess Serenity. There's a little fake pearl at the bottom, and I just really like the, the accents on this. I found it to be very pretty. We have some more acrylics. These are keychains of Haruka and Michiru for Halloween. We have Setsuna and we have Hotaru and Chibiusa. So cute. I'm super into this kind of stuff. And we also have these two, Tuxedo Mask and Usagi. They're so cute. I love that. I love that she's holding a little lollipop and so is he instead of a rose. This was from Christmas. This is a little keychain that released around Christmas time. This is like a carabiner. Now it's probably not as strong as the ones I've purchased from like REI, but I felt like this was a really nice little carabiner. No, it's definitely not going to be as strong as the ones from REI, but it's prettier. That's for sure. I don't have a lot of jewelry from this line. Liquim? Liquium? I have no clue. But 
I saw this one, really liked the design. I thought that the quality looked nice and sparkly and shiny and pretty. It's a nice little piece to add to the collection. Uh, this is a very cute and fairly inexpensive necklace that came out at the Sailor Moon store. And I also wanted to grab this very pretty keychain of Eternal Sailor Moon's outfit, her costume or her fuku. I believe everything in this pile is just a series of different kinds of acrylics. Here we have one of Luna and that is from Drops. So that's the character art from the old Sailor Moon Drops game, which we very much miss. And acrylic from Christmas, very cute acrylic stand. An acrylic keychain of Sailor Moon and the Guardians. And then this very cute one of them all at the beach or at a pool. Another acrylic keychain. This one features, of course, Usagi and Shibuyusa. I love the dresses. Here's some more drops outfits. We have a Halloween 2021 acrylic stand, and then we have this Luna stand. And acrylic featuring this art from the Sailor Moon store. And then last but definitely not least is this beautiful piece of Princess Serenity. This is a gorgeous stand. I think this is a reusable bag like an eco bag. It is, that's a big bag. Nice big eco bag. It's not canvas or anything. It feels like it's polyester. There's a button up at the back so you can button it together. Just one pocket on the inside, but this is really big. I might take this with me to Japan when I go shopping so I don't have to ask for bags. This is a nice bag, wow, I'm really surprised. Look at all those pretty items on there. It's just like the pencil case that I liked as well. But this one, of course, is a nice, big, practical eco bag. Cool. I love reusable bags. They're so nice. Since I run my own proxy service, helping people purchase items from Japan, I'm constantly going to the post office and the UPS store to ship items out to my customers. And it's really nice to have those nice big bags so that I can easily carry things in and out. All right, lastly for this collection, this little haul is this Sailor Moon store anniversary watch. And this time we got a pocket watch. Here we have this very, very, very cute pocket watch on the inside of this, it's like a leather pouch. It is working, so I don't have to charge it right now. I probably have to change the time though. This is so pretty. I don't know if I would ever use this. I don't really use pocket watches, but my goodness, it's such a beautiful piece. Now to wrap up this entire collection, I have a series of items from the Jins collaboration. If you're in a couple of different cities in the United States, you probably have seen this store in those specific cities. I know that there is a Jins glasses a store in the San Francisco city. And I think there's one down in LA as well. So I have been to that store and they were very, very cool. Great customer service. But if you're in Japan, you can get access to these really beautiful collaborations for glasses. So I have three different pairs of glasses from the most recent Jin's collaboration. In fact, the ones that I'm wearing right now, do I have makeup on my nose? The ones that I'm wearing right now, these are also Jin's Sailor Moon glasses. I get compliments on these so, so often by people who are really detail oriented and notice the details, but people love these glasses and they fit me so good. And I feel like they look wonderful on my face, especially for my face shape, like these fit really, really well. So I grabbed these three and I also wanted to get your opinion on them to see if I should switch out to any of these or if I should put my actual prescription in any of these. I have a very high prescription, so I really like to get thicker frames since my lenses also tend to be quite thick. Before I show you those, I also wanted to show you these different items that came as a part of the collaboration. Here we have an acrylic stand of Usagi with a pair of glasses on. I also grabbed the one that has Setsuna with her pair of glasses, really like her look, and Hotaru. And you can actually, I believe you can use these stands for your glasses. So you can use these stands to display any glasses that you may have. These are all microfiber towels from the most recent collaboration. Here we have, of course, Michiru, Usagi, Chibiusa, Haruka, Taru, and Setsuna. I love her outfit. These glasses straps are adorable. I really like these as well. I don't know if I would ever use them because I don't really use glasses straps, but I like that these have the planetary symbols for the guardians on there. So I got 
Sailor Saturn, and I got Sailor Moons. These are some simple little pouches. I believe I could put those glasses straps in these, or I could even use these to carry around like contact cases. And these are all soft pouches for your glasses. Um, I couldn't choose a color, and I think these might have come with the glasses as well, but I do have a few different ones. So I have this one of Sailor Saturn. It has her silence glaive on the back. Also snagged this one for Sailor Pluto. There's Sailor Plutos. This one is very cute for Sailor Moon, of course. And then we have this one for Haruka, for Sailor Uranus. Okay, let's take a look at the glasses. These do come in really beautiful display cases. These are a nice fabric covered case, uh, but of course you can replace them with the other soft cases as well. Uh, they do come with this nice little pouch in the box. So I'm gonna try on each of these and I wanna get your opinions down below. As you can see, I did choose a couple of the thicker frames because I felt like those would look better on me. So these are the ones for Sailor Moon. These are a thinner frame and they do feature some Sailor Moon icons on both of the earpieces. We also have this cute little gemstone and a crescent moon. These are really pretty. These ones are for Sailor Pluto. I love this color, this like burgundy, almost like a wine red color. Uh, this one also has a little gemstone and Pluto's planetary symbol. And then Sailor Uranus. So there are the ones for Sailor Uranus. And we also have the same thing here. Okay, try on time. Let me know which ones look good. So should I stick with the Sailor Moon glasses? And again, my prescription is very high, so I can't see anything right now, but these are the Sailor Uranus ones. Let me know what you think. Should I wear these or should I stick with the Sailor Moon ones? I feel like these ones are cute too, especially since they have a thicker frame. I don't know, let me know. Here we have the Sailor Pluto ones. These feel like they're a little bit wider, but that might look decent on my face because I do have a round face. What do you think? Let me know. I do enjoy trying on glasses. I always find a lot of fun in it because I use glasses as a part of fashion, which when I was a kid, I hated glasses. I hated having to wear them. I hated that all my kids' glasses broke all the time if I was trying to play like in the, on the playground. And here are the Sailor Moon glasses. What do you think of these ones? Are they cute? <laughs> Let me know. Let me know down below what you think. Which ones should I put my prescription lenses in? The nice thing is a lot of optometrists can put your prescriptions in Jin's glasses because they do have that information, those dimensions online. So they can send these into a lab and get them uh, fitted correctly for your frames and for your lens type. So those are my three pairs of new Jin's Sailor Moon collaboration glasses. I really like them. And I love everything that came in this huge box. Do you want to see the box now? Now that it's empty and I can actually lift it. This is the box I was working with. It's ginormous. <laughs> that was a lot of stuff. If you have any questions about anything that you have seen here today, leave those comments down below. I'm more than happy to answer those for you. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I do giveaways pretty frequently on this channel. And I also do a lot of giveaways on my Instagram, which is also where you can learn about my proxy sales service in case you need help purchasing anything from Japan. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these videos if you want to see more Sailor Moon and I'll see you next time. Janet.